um, worked well, um, actually. But the lever, the, the thing that really launched this thing into good performance was only using the products that Performance Max had uh, non-brand historical performance on in order to push. I love furniture. Dude, there's, it's so hard. I've never been able to make it work. I have a consulting client uh, that we meet once a quarter um, for furniture. It works pretty well. Even like a, a direct response Look, scale on Med, on Google worked well. What's the price point of the furniture? Actually, John, I might have a chat with you about that. Look, looks like we just got, well, we've got to do a review on our client. They're about 200K a month, their furniture. Mm -hmm. They're in Australia. Mm -hmm. So I've just, Gabby just messaged me about that. So I might have a chat with you about that strategy you use on it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I have access. I think I have access to his, his Google ads. Then are you just running e-commerce or you're taking it more as a lead gen approach to it? For furniture? Yeah. It's your it's an old it's an e-commerce store online. I'm gonna say something that'll scare everybody. I'm ready. I have I'm a furniture right. store and I'm running Pmax. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Just How are you running it? And then I'm just do I'm doing exactly what you think I would be doing with the only things that I ever do. <laughs> The, uh... Yeah, but my own version. I, instead, I'm just taking like three month windows. Or the the guy wants me to look at when a product was released. But I said, let's just factor in what the average conversion lag is. And then I've just created three categories of like good performers, zombies, poor performers, and adjusted to Tiro as as such because they don't want to go off Pmax. That's a personal client, so um... sounds like fun. Yeah, this is that client here called. This is the scale since we last met. So not too bad. Dropped to twenty seven percent by hitting it two hundred percent. Basically dumped in like what was that? One point five million in like a month and a half, or two mm -hmm. months, or like three months. Yeah, is, Sama, how what's your prices like? Like, are they like six hundred dollars? Are you talking like like ten grand? Uh, this one, John was on with me. What was it called? Um, the board one, John. Because mm -hmm. mine is like cheap, it, like it cool stuff. Three hundred dollar made in China. Thing in the Jingmies. I don't forgot what it was called. Yeah, this is like yes. Do you want it for one hundred fifty bucks? Like thirty yeah, bucks. So you want like twenty thousand? Like you got everything here. Oh yeah, that's similar to well, that's a similar vertical. What's your structure with that, John? Is money standard shopping? Uh, yeah, the top six categories. Um, we ch we turned off Pmax and changed their entire structure into standard shopping, and then added 1.5 million in three months, um, and only dipped Mer by 28 percent, which is not too bad because that is a, and that's comparing to Black Friday, um, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, it was all a we leveraged what Performance Max knew could sell, and then we swapped all those categories into a standard shopping campaign with a initial budget that is 30% higher than what Pmax was spending on it to see if we can leverage the historical performance of Pmax into new customer acquisition. Uh, ran a branded shopping as a catch-all. And it was kind of like, here's the six main categories that took up like 80% of the spend, 20% of the ad spend, and basically like a non-brand standard shopping catch-all of everything else. Um, and then just continually pushed equally based on stock levels, pricing, sales, competitiveness, dropship, etc. Um in a in an even sense. Um worked well. Um actually but the lever the, the thing that really launched this thing into good performance was only using the products that Performance Max had uh non-brand historical performance on in order to push. And so our first month, I don't know what happened with them this this last month, but this is the first month. Um as soon as this thing loads, Jesus is slow. This was the first month of push uh, in February compared to January. We met on the end of January. He did the switch over and all that kind of good stuff. And then, boop, hit it pretty hard. Media efficiency ratio stayed really well. 
And I haven't looked at it since then. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. Um, I was like, all right, and go. And then he went go. And then he literally just reached out to me and said, hey, we need to have another meeting. I was like, okay. So I, something went haywire uh, and I'll find out what it is. But that was that was from one meeting. Uh, work well. Um, then mm. Facebook, you can see their meta teams are just sucking up all of our glory right here. Yeah, like, oh, twelve percent less users, then boom, fifty-four percent more revenue. Colby? What's that? Colby said something to me. Oh, I'm I'm just interrogating Asama. How are you segmenting? Me or John? You, you. Oh, we lost that client a long time ago. Oh, okay, we well, just thought. I thought you were saying a per. Okay, never mind. Don't even listen to me then. I'll just shut up. Go home, Kobe. You're drunk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And for what it's worth, uh, I actually, same thing as John, my client just said no. So I'm like, <laughs> fine, PMAX. It's your money. Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Josh over here. At Solutions 8, I am a client manager, and today we're gonna to be talking about a transition away from Pmax into standard shopping. And we're not only gonna show you the in-app numbers, but we're also gonna show you the back-end numbers, uh, what he's actually getting out of it, what his revenue is, first-time customers, and go from there. But a big